And so in this one, why should a team ever pick a range blaster? What is it? What does it accomplish? The range blaster's primary job is to lock down a angle that either is like it, it can it's not specifically just for locking down and like keeping chargers out. It just controls a lot of space because it's AoE, it hits around corners, and two two indirects will kill you. You can't like approach the space where it's kind of sitting. But the downside is it can't paint for itself if it's trying to do something by on its own. It's very linear. Uh, it's laggy on its shots, um, so it can be very easily punished if the enemy team is good and plays uh, with the knowledge of that. So, why do you think that the range blaster just got... was unable to be successful here? Let's watch this replay. Let's see. The main reasons I think he was unable to be successful is, one, he's too busy trying to stealth jump. He, there's a lot of situations here where he makes a jump to try and get himself into a position where he can do his job, but it's it's too late. They've already, they see the jump, and they're already ready to kill him. Um, and then from there, he just, like, is constantly staggered, and they don't, like, this comp, junior, ranged, uh, flings at Tetra, this is not a good comp for painting. This is not a really good comp for painting. They have Flingza. Flingza is like okay. Junior is probably the best weapon at painting in this comp. And that's not good for a range blaster. blaster. Cuz the Tetra that's, needs to focus on killing people. It can't just be shooting the ground all day. Yeah, exactly. So it's like this is just not a good comp for painting and I think I I understand the reason they pick the Flingza, they swap they flex the Flingza uh, to the flings over the bow is because of how because of how this zone works. This zone is dominated by chargers and flingsa, and it's because they both paint in such fucking long lines. And all you need is two or three to just cover the whole zone and take it. So the flingsa wants to play here, here, or on their truck, and he literally just tosses ink. Across the whole zone, mm -hmm. just just and he can do it in such a safe way because like you see it at the end of the game, uh, the flings uh, Sugi he actually only dies twice. He doesn't die because he's so hard to get to. Like they they can't really reach him, but he can't if he drops down. He's just free food. He's yeah. just like super free food. So he has to rely on his Tetras and his Range Blaster to be the ones to take control of this area of the map so that he can like move up on the trucks or he can be more in mid or on the grates and stuff. Whereas the other team, like, their Carbon is going to play... He's just going to fucking full W. Yeah, he's, he, the Carbon's going to W. The, the Charger is either going to play on their plat or sometimes they'll play on like the truck if it's... Yeah, good. the charger can just play on like all the same spots. All these spots are just really good. And yeah, and then the the end zap, he only dies once. The end zap goes 10 in 1. He's just like just doesn't die. He just plays support so well. He just makes sure he doesn't die. He always makes sure that he can get cooler up for his team. Uh not playing he he's playing for the charger to make sure he peels for him and stuff. And yeah. And then the shot is just like kind of there to to go in like behind the carbon but he mainly is like wants to have zuka for holding pushes or getting getting picks stuff like that all right so let's watch let's see why the blaster's gonna have some trouble this game yep. so, so they immediately get the zone carbon the carbon fucking <laughs> the carbon just w's they get the zone and the carbon's like it's fucking go time and he gets a trade so it's like okay sure and it's even better because it's a trade on the junior who is a really important special. And then the shot trades with the <laughs> trades with the blaster. So this is a really awkward first engage to to have where they just go down 2 for 2 because the charger and the enzap can't really outpaint the zone like from the flingza and then the flingza eventually gets missiles which forces them to move so they just like lose the early control. But the thing is the Tetra's ints. The Tetra's like trying, He's to, trying clear to kill the, the charger. Trying to kill a charger here is like actually just impossible. They're not gonna die. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then he just dies to the end zap because the end zap has been here the whole time. He got cooler, buffed himself up, and is just like, okay, I'm just going to cover you. And this is what, like, your support player needs to do when yeah. you have the charger, and this is what, like, slayers need to not do. They don't, You can't push the charger when their support's alive. You're just going to, they're going to peel and you, then you die. Yeah, exactly. So this happens, and then you guess who's already made the jump? The fucking blaster. He the blaster's in. literally already made the jump. He's boxed in. All four of them are looking at his jump point. So he just fucking dies. And then it's like, okay, well now they can they can outpaint the flings of junior here. Uh the the junior has bubble. The junior has bubble and he uses it really good once again. And we can like show that. They try to push him, and he's just like, I'm just gonna fucking just gonna bubble. He gets a kill, throws a bomb. And then he's going to get a second one. He gets a second with the bomb also. That happens uh, off screen. Which is really nice. The first or the second missiles comes in. And I can, I can rewind this actually. I, I want, so, why does the charge die to the, the missiles here? That's See that's what I was trying to figure out. He shouldn't. He didn't really have a reason to die here. So yeah. So you can see the bomb. And then yeah. The junior gets the double kill. The missiles come out. And the charger, I don't know why he doesn't just he needs a move. go back here. <laughs> I think I think he's so he focused moves, on getting the yeah. shot. Yeah, he's too focused on getting the shot, and then like he moves too late, and this also leads to his carbon dying. Because the carbon's like, oh shit, there's missiles. I have to drop off. But since they don't have zone control, the tetras are already fucking pushed all the way up. Ooh. And then they get the wipe. And right here, they should. I think that. This is they the, won. the win condition, right? Because this is this what you is want for condition. your for your blaster, right? Well, let's see where the yes. blaster goes. Can you like yeah, yeah. Can you give his perspective? Or is well, he... yeah, hold on. I want to talk about why they lose real quick. Cause like he's he's trying to play for truck to like support the the Tetras, right? The Tetra is good to get that 1v1, and then the Tetra's ints again. I just don't get it. So like they're the blaster's sharking, like this is a good spot. Because he can he can cover both these drop off points really well. Mm -hmm. I don't get why they don't take control of this bottom this bottom square. The Tetras is literally inting. Yeah, he's just trying it, to go in and doesn't respect. He dies to the Charger who has respawn Punisher. So all his his QR just doesn't matter. And then he's just out of the game for a while. And, and now the blaster has to jump back. The blaster has to leave. Yeah, the blaster has to leave now. The blaster has to leave now. So then he try he pairs up with the junior, which is a good, it's a good play. Uh, he's like, okay, I'm gonna try and keep control over here. Missiles comes out. At the same time, missiles comes out. The carbon is using Zipcaster to try and pressure the Flingza. And since the Flingza is the back line for this team, the junior is gonna peel off. There's also a jump coming right here from the from the touches. So yeah. So they're gonna peel off. And the Flingza actually doesn't fucking... He doesn't get a kill here. He actually just dies. But oh, yeah. he, he, he does the good old Dota 2 create space. Running in inting, but I had five people on me, so I made space for my carry. Like, so three people are now in this area, and they're just getting... His he team is getting back. all the space back. His team's getting all that space back. The Zuka is used to clear out the left side while they're painting on this side and it forces the blaster to once again reposition and he's just going to reposition into his death yeah he just dies i think he runs into a bomb i think i think he runs into a suction from the end zap or something <clears throat> tetras try to go in again and they're in the low ground while the end zap is in the high ground and the charge is also there to support him so he just kind of he just dies he just dies at the same time the shot dies, so it's kind of like an even one for one. But the thing is, the carbon's already the carbon's just respawned. He's jumping back in, and then uh, let's see. So something else happens that's pretty big. Uh, that from the carbon's POV. <clears throat> so the carbon comes back in, and okay, he's like there. He throws an auto bomb because he has an idea that the junior's over there, and this auto bomb is fucking huge. Because he auto bombs, 
and then the junior bubbles, but the auto bomb is already inside of the bubble, which is fucking oh, actually. It just runs huge. in and kills yeah. it. No way. Well, it does. It's not that it runs in and kills him, but it forces him. It forces it him forces to deal leave with the it. bubble. Yeah. Yeah, it forces him to deal with it, and then he's not paying attention, and the carbon just comes in and kills him. That was set play. And then the carbon. The carbon kills the bubble. Hey, what's that? What's that that was being hidden by the bubble? What's that? A jumper? A jumper coming right here. And this is actually a fucking crazy play because if anything else, if anything else is covering this Tetris jump, it's probably a trade. But the carbon just one shot. The carbon one shots because it's a fucking roller. Like you can see him roll. You can, you can see him mid roll, but he just fucking dies because it's a carbon. And like, I guess, like, I'm assuming Pops they just, back. like, tr <laughs> yeah, they trust that he's going to get that kill, so he starts to pop back so they can start taking the zone since it's, like, it's 15 seconds. So they get the counter paint, they get the zone cap, and this this zip caster is fucking humongous. I don't know how he doesn't die here. Oh, it's because the Flingza was shooting missiles. He was in the lag animation from missiles behind the wall. So the carbon literally just gets up here and gets to fucking kill this jumper. Mm -hmm. And then he also gets the kill on the fucking Flingza roller moment. And then but then he dies to missiles. But since there's That's death cans in this shitty game, <laughs> he sees where the Tetris is because there's <laughs> death can in this fucking dog shit ass game. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Then? And then this is basically where they this is basically where they lose. Because the Tetris goes down. They don't have map like, control. They yep. had they had complete map control too. And then yep. they threw the game by being over aggressive. And then you're yep. stuck trying to get out with the blaster. Yeah, so the carbon is, like, trying to do his thing. Roller's actually, like, super fucking busted in these, like, little positions because the vertical flick still just fucking, like, one-shots Yeah, you just get killed. hits you right. It's so fucking stupid. He recognizes he's about to fucking die and actually jumps out. Props on him, considering how many times he's, like, inted in some of the other games. So he jumps out, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna reposition. I'm gonna try and do the same thing on this side. But then missiles comes out, so he jumps out again. Another smart, smart jump. Sp the the splatter shot is kind of in no man's land, just kind of like encircled. He's, he's, he's stuck, but yeah, he, he still he forces yeah. them to the left side, which is good because they can still have yeah. the zone here. And then they end up killing the junior, and then like at this point, it's so fucking it's crazy how this game ends because it's basically just like just the charger making a play. Because at, at this point, the range blaster is here. He should be able to get control of, like, all this space and, like, start making it so that his team can come back in. But what happens is the Flingsa shoots missiles here. And the Charger makes the decision that, okay, I can't go back because I'm probably going to kill my teammate if I try to run backwards. But I can go forward and fucking dome this fucking range blaster. Yeah. <laughs> And then I don't know what the comms had to have been like, but the junior just doesn't turn around. The junior literally just doesn't turn around, and then he just fucking dies. The charger just 2v1s somehow. And then the, spl the splatter shot gets the fucking kill. He gets the jumper because they always fucking jump. And then the game's just over. Because, <laughs> like, your flings it can't fucking paint. Yeah, he's, he's like, not he, gonna paint. He just needs to get missiles on. They're just jumping yeah. in and feeding him. Yep, and the, then this, this game is over. It spirals back to they had the the plat, let's say, just right under it. Yep, they they had like all can you draw this. can you draw a square around that? Like they yeah, just need they, the, they just need to shark this. They yep, shark they had this. all of this. They literally had all of this painted. But the Tetris decides he wants to push up grates. Yeah, going into this spot because even if he gets like a trade there, it's still bad. Yeah, exactly. It's still it's still not worth it, even if he gets the trade there. It's like all they have to do, paint up paint up this square, they they probably win the game. So your your blaster is really good at stopping them from sharking or stopping them from coming through the entryways because it just sharks and auto kills people. But if you yep. don't play around that fact and respect that like yeah, you having a blaster on your team is just negative paint. For yeah, one exactly. player, then, then you, get, no you get punished. You get punished pretty hard. Yeah. All right. Yeah.